Hannah, and welcome back to Church at Home. I'm so glad you're here today because it's a really special day. Today, we're going to hear the last story in our series all about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the special helper God sends to the people who are in His family. The Holy Spirit gives us strength and power to share God's love and helps us make the right choices. You are going to love our story today. It's about Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, and something amazing that happens to him. That reminds me of our big idea. It says, because of the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do what God has asked us to do. Let's say that together out loud. Ready? One, two, three. Because of the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do what God has asked us to do. Great job. Wow, I can't wait to learn more about that. But first, let's stand up and sing a song together. This song is called, I Know I Belong. It's about how when we belong in God's family, He gives us great power to do amazing things. So we're gonna start out by singing, your love, your love is worth living for. Let's sing it out together. Here we go. I know I belong. I know I belong. I know I belong to you. Let's sing that out again. I know I belong. I know I belong. I know I belong. All right, you guys, sing out. I know I belong. I know I belong. I know I belong to you. And one more time, as loud as you can. I know I belong. when it's hard, Lord. So let's all stomp our feet together. You guys ready? Here we go. Have you guys singing that song? That was a great song. Thanks for singing with me. That song reminds us that when we belong to God's family, we have the Holy Spirit and we are given great power to help us live our lives for God. God loves us so much that He sent us the gift of the Holy Spirit to help us be strong and do the things God asks us to do. He gives us all we need. Wow, let's watch a story from God's special book for us. Do you know what book it is? It's the Bible. And its stories are about real people and places from a long time ago. Check out this story from the Bible. Slapstick Theater. Peter escapes from prison. This is Peter, hey who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Peter told people about Jesus. 
there was a king named Herod who tried to stop anyone who tried to tell others about Jesus. He arrested Peter and took him to jail to be executed. While Peter was in prison, the people of the church prayed for him. The night before Peter was supposed to go to trial, he was sleeping. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord stood before him. The angel woke Peter up and said, Quick, get up. The chains fell off Peter's wrists. Whoa! Then the angel told him to get up and get ready to go and to follow him. So Peter left the cell, but all the time he thought was happening wasn't real and that it was just a vision. They passed by the guards, and when they came to the iron gate, it opened for them on its own. Wow! Awesome! They were walking through the street when the angel suddenly left him. Wait, what was happening? Peter finally realized that this was all really happening and that God had sent an angel to save him from what King Herod and the Jewish leaders had planned to do to him. Wow! He went to the home of Mary, where many believers were together praying. When Peter knocked at the door, a servant girl came to answer. Hey, uh, let me in! Peter! When she realized it was Peter, she was so excited that she ran inside to tell people instead of letting Peter in. Uh, I'm so sure her. It's Peter! The people inside thought the girl was wrong and said, It must be Peter's angel. But Peter kept knocking. When the people finally opened the door, they were amazed. Peter told them about what happened and all about how God sent an angel to rescue him from prison. What a cool story! Because of the Holy Spirit's power, Peter was able to do what God told him to do. After Peter escaped from prison, he was able to continue to tell many people about Jesus. And just like with Peter, because of the power of the Holy Spirit, we have the help we need to make the choices God wants us to make, even when it's hard. That reminds me of our Bible memory verse. Let's read it. Uh-oh. It's covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop all the bubbles so we can read the Bible verse? Grab some bubbles if you have them and let's pop them together. Come on. Okay, everybody. It's bubble popping time. The bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we're at the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere! Yay! You did it! We got all the bubbles and now we get to see our memory verse. Acts 1-8 says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere. The Holy Spirit's power can help us do what God asks us to do, even if it's hard or seems scary. The Holy Spirit helps us be brave. You know what? The Bible verse is so important, let's sing a song about it to help us remember it. Get on your feet and let me hear you sing. Let's sing Acts 1-8 together. You guys, we're gonna start by moving around like this, and then we're gonna clap our hands. You ready? All right, now this song is all about how God gave us the Holy Spirit, and when He did that, we got great power. So let's start by singing, you will receive power. Acts 1-8 Acts 1-8 Oh, 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 oh 
to see you move in? And can you clap your hands? Good job. And hands in the air. Good job. All right, you guys, we're going to sing that all over again, but you will receive power. Let's sing it out together. you can. Everywhere. Acts 1 a sing it out. Acts 1 a oh, 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 oh. All right, you guys, now we're going to get down really low. Can you guys go down really, really low? Good job. Now let's bring it up. And everyone, let's jump. And let me see you dancing. Good job. Let's sing, but you will receive power. Everywhere, as loud as you can. Everywhere. Acts 1 8. Acts 1 8. Oh, 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 oh. All right, you guys, let's dance together. And can you clap your hands? And let me see your turn. And hands up. When we belong to God's family, we get the power of the Holy Spirit to help us do amazing things. The Holy Spirit's power can help us do the things that God asks us to do. Things like telling other people about Him, obeying our parents and teachers, showing kindness even when we're angry, and so much more. Those things can be hard sometimes. But with the Holy Spirit's help, we can do whatever God asks us to do. Let's catch up with our friend Han and see if he has another cool science experiment to show us today. Grab your thinking caps and listening ears, and maybe even some safety goggles. It's time to go to Han's lab. Hi, I'm Maddie. And I am Han. Welcome to my lab. Today, we are going to make something float. Oh, cool. Um, how are we going to do that? Are we going to tie it to a string or uh, tie a bunch of balloons to it? Nope. Oh, well, then how are we going to do it? Through science. Oh, of course. But you have to listen to my instructions. I am going to help you. Oh, OK, we will do. Oh, do you know what that reminds me of? The Holy Spirit. Oh, you mean the special helper that God sent? Yeah. Hmm, why does it remind you of that? Because the Holy Spirit helps us to know what the right thing to do is, and then to do it. If we listen, the Holy Spirit will tell us what we should do when we don't know what to do. Like how I will tell you instructions to do our science experiment. Exactly. The Holy Spirit gives us power and strength to make the choices God wants us to make, even when it's hard. What else does the Holy Spirit do? He will comfort us when we're sad or having a hard time. That sounds great, but how can I hear what the Holy Spirit has to say? Will he talk to me like you're talking to me now? Well, uh, sometimes he does that, but most of the time the Holy Spirit guides us through the Bible or through our teachers or, or our parents or even through our thoughts. The more we get to know God, the more we will know what the Holy Spirit wants us to do. Hmm. That's a lot for me to think about. Well, you can think about it while you show me how to do this experiment. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, first you take the pole. Uh-huh. And you rub it on your head. What? Rub it on your head. Why? Because of science. Trust me. Okay. Now, take the tinsel. Okay. And drop it on the pole. Like this? Whoa, this is amazing! How's this happening? Well, if you want wow. to be specific, it's static electricity. But I'll just simplify it and say science. 
<laughs> I'm glad you're having fun doing science experiments. Thank you for joining me in my lab. <laughs> yeah, remember that because of the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do what God has asked us to do. The Holy Spirit will give you the strength to make the right choice even when it's hard. God loves you so much. And so do we. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>